will receive an email and be like, yo, someone's made a complaint and then we'll investigate it before we even say you're guilty of doing anything. We'll definitely invest a complaint. We don't let people just say so-and-so did something and then all of a sudden it's an issue. So it'll be investigated by support and then returned. And so the silencing of individuals on the platform is something that doesn't happen. Like, I, again, I can't speak to that. There's no silencing of people. Again, I've been silenced on Clubhouse and Chatter and X and Instagram and and TikTok and all, even LinkedIn. I got my LinkedIn page took. So I know what being silenced <laughs> looks like. So no one is silencing individuals on the app. So I, I you know, I don't, I don't know if you, I don't know what that means, but you know, no one's being silenced on that. Okay. All right. Real quick. So we got Tariq on stage. Uh, I know uh, Isaac had been opinionated on the FBA. Uh, Tariq, what's up, man? How you doing? Tariq, you there? There it is. There it is. Can you hear me now? Uh, you got static. I, I can I can barely hear you. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. You're getting feedback. A little feedback on there? Okay, yeah. Just, Just go ahead, me, Tariq. Uh, we can't hear you. Can you hear me good? Uh, I, I can't hear my back. Okay. I don't want to sound raggedy. Here. He might, yeah. He, he might need to turn voice isolation on. Yeah. No, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Hold on. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to rest down right now. The Give him a minute. If he has a Bluetooth one, come off of the Bluetooth. I will. I will double back. Isaac, I, will... I got smoke for you. Don't leave. Who? All right. Bro. All right. Um, all right. All right. Who else? Who else up uh, next in the queue? Far as want to ask. Uh, uh, Nikki, you you wanted to ask uh, Isaac a question because I was I was calling on you. No, I'm gonna let Tariq go. I'm I'm just sitting up here to support Tariq. Just give him a minute to go. All right. Yeah. All right, there okay, we go. No problem. Can y'all hear me now? All right, three. Yeah, yeah. We, what's, we, up, what's up, man? How you, you doing? You got smoke for me. Oh, yeah. Isaac Hayes in the building. All right, so Isaac. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get the conflict yeah, resolution, wait. man, for the coaches. Yes, man. Hey, anybody got smoke for me? Let's bring that smoke right now. Who got smoke for me? Turn well, turn your voice isolation on on your phone so that all the background noise is going. There's a bunch of noise in the background. So what do I do? I'm, I just got it on speaker right now. So, are you on? Are you on an iPhone? Yeah, I am. And so, in the upper right hand corner of your screen, swipe down, and it'll say mic mode, and switch it to voice isolation. Hold on, let me do that. Uh, mic mode. Uh, mic mode standard. Isolation. There we go. Uh, Look how much better that sounds. Oh my. That's God. better. Yeah, that's good. Shout out to you, Isaac, yeah. man. You just helped me all right. You ain't that bad at all. You helped me. I learned some new shit right there. I got to, I got to, there you go. I got to sign on the fan base and then download um, Hot Buttered Soul to hook you and your family up. How about that? That, that, would, that would be excellent. Yes, sir. indeed. But yeah, I, I ain't got no problem. Me, look, Isaac, that's our brother, man. I ain't got no beef. Like, I know Isaac. He's, um, you know, trying to get in good with the Democrats and, you know, they do their little, Stop taking at influencers like me. I don't take none of that shit personally. I get it. I know what cats are trying to do. You're trying to get in good. Cats are trying to, you know, work with their folks. But I think you don't have to do that. I, you know, even though I don't take it personally, y'all don't have to try to take shots at influencers in order to get brownie points from the Democrats. Because the thing is, man, we don't owe no damn Democrats anything. We don't owe no political party anything as foundational Black Americans. We should have the wherewithal to decide which political party is going to bring something to the table for us. We're the only group who are ashamed for looking outside of the Democratic Party for tangible benefits that's going to help our community. They treat us, the Democrats, we get treated like political, we get treated like political um, property. We get treated like slaves by these people. White people can choose to be a Democrat and a Republican. Asians can choose to be a Democrat or Republican. East Indians can choose independents, Democrat, Republicans. If we say, hey, man, we want to look outside the Democratic Party, all of a sudden we're paid Russian bots. We're paid by Steve Bannon. All of these Cointel Pro ass projections are levied onto us. And when y'all do that, that minimizes 
the seriousness of whatever you have going on. You don't want to be that because people can see through that. People can see that a lot of that is performative things for the Democrats. And you don't want to be that person. You don't want to mess up your legacy by being somebody's flunky. And a lot of people like um, um, Uncle Lizard, Flies, and all of these people, we know they're trying to get put on again um, by acting like political flunkies. But that's just not a good look. And as far as Isaac Hayes Jr., man, your father has a phenomenal legacy. I'm a huge fan of your father. I don't want to see you squander that legacy by pouring it out to the damn Democrats unnecessarily just for brownie points. So that's that's my criticism. So let me ask you a question. Where where are you from? Where are you from, Tariq? Um, I'm from Detroit, Alabama, and L.A. Okay. Got it. So yes. I, the beginning of this conversation... I had to say that I am I am biased to the Democratic Party. Yes. From where I, from where I come from because I separate the Democratic Party into multiple factions of of a federal, a state and local, you know, politics, right? And so in my lifetime I've seen nothing but black Democrats in the city of Atlanta on a local level do nothing but unapologetically pass legislation on behalf of the black community. And I saw that even before I could even vote. So from the time I got to Atlanta when I was three years old, all the way till now, all I've seen is year after year, a succession of black lawmakers pass laws that make black people millionaires, put them in positions of economic opportunity, create laws to defend their communities, you know, do all these types of things with education, uh, contracting, zoning, all of these things. So a lot of the a lot of the things that we have conversations about on a national level. So for me, I ha- my opinion is always going to be favorable of the Democratic Party on a local level because all I've seen them do, all I've seen is black people do exactly what you're talking about. I've seen in contradiction to a lot of what you're talking about. I've seen black people coalesce, register to vote, find a candidate, make demands of that candidate, put that candidate in power, that candidate then take those demands and put them in the form of legislation and pass laws on behalf of the people that elected him into office and him come and, and him um, deliver on his promises. What other opinion can I have of Maynard Jackson and Andrew Young and Shirley Franklin and Andre Dickens and, and all these other black all the other black mayors of Atlanta can I have if I've seen them consistently uphold those values and generate that econ- economic opportunity as registered Democrats, as John Lewis is a registered Democrat, as uh, Andrew Young and Maynard Jackson were registered Democrats. What can I do other than have from a local level, again, from a local level, have nothing but a favorable opinion of the Democratic Party and completely understand what democracy looks like in the hands of black people, given the opportunity to govern ourselves, given the opportunity to govern ourselves. All I've seen black. Oh, all I've seen black people do is look out for other black people. I cannot. Okay. Uh, what I, what I can say know. is. Hold on, I'm almost done. What I can say is on the state level, I see us fight to break barriers and break through that that state level to put another p- black person in position of power to then expand Hold on. To then expand that power to then expand that power to places where we can further um the black agenda on a state level and expand it from a local level. That's all that I can say. So I, so again, I understand that when people have a negative perspective or opinion of the Democratic Party, it is very, it is a very blanketed, broad statement painted with a broad brush. When there is nuance in all of that, when the Democratic Party is in, is in is in counties and it's in cities and it's in states and it's on the federal level, it's in the House and the Senate and all these things. So that's my, you know, dissected opinion of the Democratic Party. Okay, those good points. Now, with people like Andrew Young, people like that in those days, in the days of Young, they did phenomenal things for the Black people of Atlanta. We have to understand that a lot of people that's in political office now, they don't have the same wherewithal and the same dedication to the Black community 
as the Andrew Youngs and people like that. Let's go to Atlanta, since we're speaking about Atlanta. You got prosecutors out there like Fonnie Willis, who's a Democrat, and I warn people about Fonnie Willis. Fonnie Willis was put in place with the help of the police unions to toss out some cases, particularly one where a race soldier killed a black man unarmed unjustly. And we're trying to get that race soldier prosecuted. They put Bonnie Willis in there to deliberately boister the case. And then she got in office and started targeting black people. That's not the kind of democratic policies that we're looking for. Also in Atlanta, they're flooding the zone and using those democratic policies to badger everybody down with immigration. And that's not helping foundational black Americans whatsoever. I've been to Atlanta. You got so many homeless black people in Atlanta. It's ridiculous. So the Democrats of today, they're doing the bidding of all of these other groups. John Lewis, I'm not a fan of John Lewis. John Lewis has stomped the yard real hard for immigration. John Lewis, his only claim to fame is getting his ass whooped in Selma. We have to stop. Oh, getting that's disrespectful. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's a fact, bro. I meant to be. Oh, that's a fact. Every, Come on, man. That's crazy. I meant to be. Go ahead, though. I meant to be. Respect. John Lewis was a do boy and flunky of the Democrats. He wasn't a rider. He only got his ass whooped in Selma. That was his only claim to fame. Nobody praises John Lewis in our society. John Lewis is a somebody who they try to prop up as, hey, get your ass whooped with dignity and not fight back. That's not my hero, and he deserves every level of disrespect. This is why I don't rock with the Democrats. They teach us how to be obedient slaves. That's not how we're supposed to act, and that's not how we're supposed to be. If they got policies that's against us and harming us, and they're flooding the zone with non-FBA people who are trying to undermine us, we should call that out, and we have a right as taxpayers to want our resources to help the people of our lineage on this land that us and our families built, sir. Okay, so let me respond to that, all right? So you're telling me that... This is what we call the intellectual squabble. So you're, 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 you're telling me that... Oh, hold on, wait. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead Hayes. Yeah. So you're telling me that John Lewis, who was part of the nonviolent student yeah. coordinating committee, right? Uh huh. Like, and, and John Lewis, who was a key organizer of the March on Washington, which wasn't shit. But go ahead. Hold on, hold on. John Lewis, who was a freedom writer. Uh huh. John Lewis, who was an ag- advocate of the voting rights of 1965. Right. All right. You're now that's giving oh, people. Let me let, let, let's. I'm a historian, brother. We're not going to rewrite history. Nigga, you know, ain't no I'm, fucking historian. Shut the. Hey. All right, I'm shooting in. Who 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 was that? Get your ashy ass down. Hey, listen. When two individuals is having a back and forth, y'all got to shut the fuck up with the ad libs. Let Tariq and Isaac have the intellectual back and forth with no personal attack. Anybody ad lib, you're getting shot. I don't want to hear no GZ ad libs. Yeah, who inter who interjected? Who said that? I said it. Uh, hold on, who? hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not let's not get who? off track. Let's not get let's get off track. Tariq. Now, what I will say is Tariq. Uh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Who? Is- People jumping in. Who's saying what? Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't even want to acknowledge it. I don't know. That's my point. It's not. It's not. It's. It's not important to the conversation. No, dude. I want to know who's who. It was Stephen. It was the dude. Uh, Stephen, come back up, man. Come on, man. Just like, I, I no, just, just let but, uh, just let Isaac and Tariq go back and forth. Let's let's just no, keep the conversation what it is. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about the waterhead tether, Steve? Okay, yeah, that's a nobody. But okay, I just wanted to know who's who. Okay, now, the nobody now, tether. Tariq, okay. now, Tariq, I will, now what I will agree and what I said before is here's the problem. When Paul Howard was running for DA, we yeah. supported Paul Howard against against Fonnie Willis because Fonnie Willis's attorney is is had donated to um. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Garrett Ross' attorney had donated to Fonnie Willis's campaign, right? I rem- like I re- I had issue with that, and I said to people, I was like, when Fonnie Willis gets elected, she's going to make that um, Rayshard Brooks case go away. And when she did, she sent that case to Cobb County, and then once she sent that case to Cobb County and recused herself from that, then they let. Garrett Roth off, and I never agree with that. So I don't. I, again, I'm not going to lump Fonnie. I'm I'm not going to lump Fonnie Willis as in a Democrat because the citizens of the city got together and decided who they wanted to vote, and they chose Fonnie Willis over Paul, Paul Howard. That's how democracy works. Uh, they were both Democrats, so there was both, Paul Howard was a Democrat, and Fonnie Willis was a Democrat, and Christian Y. Smith, 
who just tried to run again was a Democrat. So again, I, here's 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 where we're going to disagree. And I, and I, you gotta, for me, you cannot boogeyman the entire Democratic Party. And I right. understand that that serves your agenda as as a as a advocate for foundational Black Americans. But it's dis. What's my, hold on. What's my agenda. What's my agenda. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What I'm saying is that, well, what it, so what I will I will assume your agenda, what you vocally speak about, is that you lump the Democratic Party as as this is one uh, uh, unit that tries to brainwash Black people into doing their bidding. That's what you sound like you're saying. Okay. Well, the Democrats do they not operate as a unit? No. It seems like they operate as a unit, and they get all on the same case, the same page. Same code. Bro, let me t let me tell you let me tell you how that's not true, because I'm not a, I'm not a Republican by the way. I'm not a Trump fan. I'm not a Republican. None of that stuff. So I'm not I'm not supporting any political party at this point unless somebody has a black agenda. So I just want to put that out there. Okay, I understand that. But what what I'm saying is that no, because there's the irony of this. The irony in what you were saying is that before actual before actual uh kamala became the nominee for the president of the united states it was all about democrat infighting it was all about the democrats can't get on the same page so no they do not move as a unit no political party moves as a unit the republicans don't move as a unit the democrats don't move as a unit everybody has different opinions and different voices on the way that things get get done even to the point that when you have elections you have democrats running against other democrats so no, but I, but again, it it it's, it it's, hold, hold on, hold on, because here's the thing: you say they don't run as a unit, but all of them get on code with one thing: not having a black agenda that's going to give us specific tangibles. Every single one of them get on that code because the DNC sends them talking points to make sure that foundational black Americans don't get anything specific. That's why. Kamala got out publicly and said with her whole chest, she's not going to do anything that's only going to benefit black people, but she's done stuff and the Democrats have done stuff to only benefit other non-black people. So yes, they do work as a unit when it comes to denigrating and playing the benign neglect thing against foundational black Americans. No, and so, 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 to, so let me ask you this. So then yeah. what, so then what, let me ask you this. Let's go. Let's this let, without without going too deep. Well, I don't not too deep, but too long. Like, what are yeah. some of the things that you will want the Democratic Party to do for Black number Americans? One, the reparations is number one. What they were supposed to do out here in California, mm -hmm. they sat they had reparations game and they tried to be deceptive in order for us to vote for them, and they specifically crashed that reparations okay, bill out Tariq, here. I got a go ahead, Tariq. I got okay. I got a challenge for you. You ready? What's the challenge? I, I, I got a challenge for you. Okay. So go ahead, bro. Hold on one second. My phone, hold on. My phone keeps ringing. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. And I see you in there, Steven. Hold with on. your Berlin Coat bro. Factory. Stop being a bitch. Here's, here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. Stop being a bitch. Hold on. Yeah, here's these, the challenge. there's too many ops on this stage. Yeah. And and you just want to have let them have a respectable conversation back. And hey, forth. I ain't say a word. You turn to me. Hold on, Tariq. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hold on hey Tariq. listen, listen, listen. This is an intellectual back yeah, and forth between my... Isaac Hayes and Tariq. Tariq I'm ready. Mean, I'm ready. We got to shoot you. Yeah, I'm gonna say this in front of everybody. You ready? Never run a buck, Stephen. But I'm, I'm I'm showing respect to Isaac. Isaac is showing respect to me. But but um, Stephen, you are Burlington suit. Hey, Hush hey, 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 hey. Focus on. And the head fake ass lawyer who don't win no cases. Everybody who go to court with you, they end up paying child support. And ain't got no kids, you bitch ass nigga. Okay, so Tariq, go ahead, Isaac. Okay, so now, and Nikki, yeah, yeah, Nikki Barnes, I see you down there too, because I heard you've been talking slick. I seen you without your makeup, baby. You look like a crackhead and need a baker. So I got smoke for your little funny style looking ass too. Oh my god. Okay. Tariq, uh, hold, hold on, on Tariq. Hold, 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 Tariq. Right, stay away from the women. Tariq, come on, Tariq. Let's, let's... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's keep, let's keep the smoke. Let's keep the smoke for Isaac. It's a good back and forth. Uh, a good back and forth intellectual squabble between Isaac Hayes and Tariq Nasheed. Uh, two men, they didn't disrespect each other. Uh, Stephen did come on stage hey, with the disrespect Lynn. first. Yeah. Hold on, I just want to say hey, this. Lynn. Stephen did come on stage with the, with the disrespect first, but Nikki didn't disrespect nobody. So let's, let's, let's leave Nikki. There it is. So Nikki don't do nothing audience, but disrespect Tariq. 
Okay. 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 But last, last, I don't know the history. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Nick, uh, let's oh, finish the back and forth, and then we'll and, and, and then we'll get to Nikki and Steven issues with Tariq. But let's get to because they they had a good back and forth. They they having a good back and forth. Hold right on. Now. So, right, so no, just, there's no issues. Me and Steven run Tariq. Y'all see okay. that. Okay. But go so, ahead. So Isaac. Tariq, how do we how do we pass? How do uh, in what ways? Hold on. Hold on, Tariq. What? Only with a kid term. But go ahead. What ways do we pass reparations? Go ahead, brother. What way? What way? What can we pass reparations on the state level? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can do anything on the state level, city level, federal level. If you can give money to non citizens. Did he drop out or is it me? Hey, Tariq, you, uh, you in the matrix, Tariq? Yeah, no, give him a minute. Back. Yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back, Tariq. Oh, okay. I'll get and yet, what so happened? you can so so let me ask you this georgia is what what is georgia what percentage of black georgia is you always know this lou what is georgia is like 30 almost 33 percent black yeah 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 georgia georgia is like 30 percent uh mississippi uh 37 percent black the highest, so uh, Tariq, black here's my here's my challenge to you you ready okay wait can you hear yeah, me i'm seeing i can you. hear can you, you hear me? i can hear you okay. yeah, so you now. there so if if black if the black people of this country descended upon Georgia, right, and, and spread out across the state, and 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 moved in and registered to vote, then in one election cycle we could literally take over the entire state of Georgia, the House, the Senate, and the governor's seat of Georgia, and then pass reparations on behalf of, of black people. Correct. We can do that now and out here in California. You have people who can't even vote coming in getting resources. They don't have to jump through no, all no, those that's hoops. Not, that's when not it, a hoop. Oh, Listen, no. That's no, not a hoop. Us, we got plebiscite hoops and we got to jump not, through this and we all got to move. That's not a hoop. Forward. That's literally. No, we, no, no, no. We don't have to do uh, all that. They can get what we're supposed to get right here. We don't have to do all that jumping through uh, hoops. Damn all that. Y'all pull that. We got to um, form a CPAC, a plebiscite. No, no, no. And that's got, not what I'm saying. Got, that's not what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, Tariq. Listen to what I'm saying. That's, I'm that's saying the way that the game, the way that the game is set up is the majority rule. The majority makes the rules, right? In an election, whoever wins gets to make the rules. If you were in the House, the Senate, are immigrants the majority because they're getting a bunch of stuff and they're I'm not. not we're not. Hold on, we're, not, we're not. We're not moving the goalposts. Just to st stay locked in. Stay locked in. Hold on. Listen. If how how do not citizens who can't even vote get what they're supposed to get but we have to do all of this stuff where we got to be the majority that non, rules. no 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 non-citizens no. are not getting what they're supposed to get a lot of what a lot of what you're talking about all is right. propaganda tree i'm telling you they're getting stuff that we're supposed to get they're not even able to vote and they're not even citizens and they're getting all the resources that's supposed to go to us that, and that's where's the problem the, where's the where's the literal factual paper trail of that really Chicago, New York, brother. These people getting debit cards, EBT cards, housing. I don't like when people get into bad faith arguments talking about where, where they getting it at. They're not running over here across the border for nothing. You don't see a bunch of homeless immigrants out here and they're lining up at the border. Where are they? They're being housed somewhere. They're being housed with somebody's money. You don't see a bunch of homeless immigrant families out here. They got money on top of money, and it's from our tax dollars. So we can't have these bad faith, disingenuous arguments. But anyway, let me get out of here, man. I got my kids. We're about to run up out this restaurant. Um, let's chop up game, Isaac. You out there in Atlanta, yes, brother? Yes, sir. Okay, when I get hey, down. Hey, hey, Tariq, before you get up out of here, I think the best solution, because uh, see, y'all two black American men uh, that has a difference of uh, how we deal, how we should strategize politically. Yeah. I think Isaac Hayes should break bread with your business. And uh, you come to fan base and break bread with his. That's how we uh, break bread with Black Americans, man. We gonna sit down like men and we gonna stop it up because I'm a fan of his dad's. I grew up, grew up on his dad, so yeah. Any Black man doing any kind of business, I can sit down with him, shop up game with him. Yes, face sir. That's what I'm on. I That's do that. what it's about, man. Kept a tether like Stephen with his waterhead ass. I don't sit down with musty, fleeing ass tethers. That's what I don't do. But any Black man that want to chop up some game and um really build, I'll do that. So. That's, That's where I have to Yeah, all right, bet. That's a bet. Because we all black men of business, man. Most of us on stage, man. Uh, Isaac about his business. Uh, we got a lot of people, Sonny, uh, but a lot of entrepreneurs in the room, man. Uh, it's time to put our little differences to the side and uh, stand on uh, black American business, man, economically. Because that's what it's about. 
Yes, indeed. All right, guys, I'm up out of here, man. I appreciate you, Tariq, for sure.